viewers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls, and welcome back. Thanks so much for dropping by. Hope that all is awesome and fabulous your way. I am back with another review. This is the very last one of the BMR 1959 dolls that will complete my collection. I'm very excited about completing my collection of this line as quickly as I did. I'm very pleased about the sales that Walmart.com and Amazon.com had on these dolls during the holidays. It gave us collectors an opportunity to save some money, and I'm excited about that as always. These are pretty awesome dolls. If you've never heard of these dolls, please stick around for the review and check out my other reviews on these dolls. They are fabulous. Now, this is the last beauty in this collection, and here you have the packaging, which is pretty cool. It is just like a shoe box, of course. Then on each box, you have a model um, on the cover, and I love the artwork on these boxes. And this is just an awesome picture of the model. And then on the side, you know, you got the, the just a little information about the BMR 1959 line. It's just a collection that celebrates the fashion heritage of Barbie and showcases how the current trend influences the brand. And I think that's pretty awesome, really awesome. And then the back, of course, is just plain, and it has just a different, all the stuff they put on the back of the packaging. Nothing fancy, nothing fabulous. And then when you open up the box, you get this um, awesome um, display, and I like this. You have the tissue paper with the BMR 1959 logo, and when you pull it back, you are revealed this beautiful, beautiful doll, and there she is. She has the yellow background. I love it. I think it's bright and vibrant. And then I love all of the colors that come in her ensemble. Each doll brings a unique personality and all to the collection. And this is what, in my opinion, makes this collection so much fun. These dolls have the made-to-move bodies. Those of you that are new to the channel and new to the made-to-move body, body world, that means the doll can be posed and moved in so many awesome ways when it comes to photographing them and just displaying them in different ways. So this is the last one and I'm ready to get her out of the box so that she can join the rest of the gang. So I'm going to unbox this beautiful doll and we're going to look at her up close and in detail. Bam, she's back. So each one of these dolls comes with a certificate of authenticity and here it is. And these are Barbie signature dolls and they are from the Barbie um black label line so they are collectibles and here each doll also comes with a um a unique little doll stand i'm trying i did have her standing on her own these dolls will stand on their own if you balance them correctly all right stand there girl i want to show them the stand all right so here's what the stand looks like for those of you who are, again, new to this doll line, because I've had some of you comment that you did not know about this doll line. So I'm going to do this review as if you're seeing it for the very first time. But each doll comes with a doll stand. And the doll stand is plastic, and each one has the BMR 1959 personal logo there on it. Then it has the plastic base, and... um. It has a little light assembly required, nothing um, hard to do. You just put the pole down into the base, and then you put the piece around the waist on the pole. And that's it. <laughs> so let's get down to what it's all about, this beautiful doll. Now, I really like her face mold. I think she looks very nice. She's very got this very serious look. Now, she's wearing this green um, baseball cap, and of course the baseball cap is plastic so let's take a look at the baseball cap all right so this is the baseball cap and it is plastic but it is very detailed um as you can see it looks just like a real baseball cap and then with every item in this line it has the bmr 
1959 logo stamped on it. So we're just going to place her hat there so we can take a look at all this gorgeous hair. So her hair is beautiful. When I first looked at her and I saw her, I thought that it was going to be real um, hard and sticky from gel, but it's not. It's very soft and it seems to be very thick. It has a lot of curls and as you can see, she has blonde and um, very light brown um, highlights in it. It's a very pretty color and it's very nice. Um, this doll, for some reason, at one point was probably my least favorite, but again, once I got her, I'm telling you, I love them all. But her hair is very soft, and they have it pulled back with a clear plastic, um, elastic band, so you know, easy on, easy off, so you can change your hairstyle. I have seen some awesome, amazing photos on Instagram of these dolls being restyled, and um, they look awesome in a lot of other things, guys. So let's take a look at this face mold. Um, I like the face mold. I think that, again, it's very unique. This, I'm told, is the, what is it, the Millie face mold. Um, I like the thick eyebrows. I love the, um, just the serious look that she has. Her eyes look like they might be, I don't know, gray. You know, again, these things up, up close, little things are hard for me to see. But I think her eyes are going to be like a gray color. And then she doesn't seem to have on any makeup. She's just, you know, ready, ready. <laughs> and her lip color is just natural. And I think she is a stunning doll. Now, let's look at this vibrant very strange attire that she is wearing okay so her shirt is very um very large it's one of those um pieces that um have the the bulky look the sleeves are gathered and i didn't know that until i took her out of the box i thought they were just pushed up but the sleeves are gathered here both sleeves are gathered. You have a yellow sleeve and a red one. Then you have these strips of, I say, ribbon with the BMR 1959 logo stamped all the way down on each piece of the ribbon. And, you know, it's a very unique design. I've never seen anything like this before. But again, it's very unique, and I like it a lot. I like all of the colors that they gave her. Her shirt has a green um, neckline, the same color as the hat, and the shirt does Velcro in the back. Then let's look at these really vibrant pants that she is wearing. I mean, they have all kinds of colors, or shorts, rather. They have every color, I think, that you could imagine in these pants. I don't see brown, but I see black. Um, and they Velcro in the back. And um, this is what the waist looks like on them. And I think they're very cute. And I think they would um, do a great job being mixed and matched with other pieces. And then, of course, I think my favorite part of her whole ensemble are her fabulous shoes. These are like the sock shoes. And they, of course, have the BMR 1959 logo printed on the outside and on the inside of the shoe. And then this is what it looks like underneath the bottom. I mean, they're very detailed and very nice. I like the shoes a lot. And they are made of fabric. They are. They, they ma they're made the way they, they're made the way that they look, rather. I owned a pair of shoes like this. They were Filas, they were athletic shoes, and they were very comfortable. Mine had the toes, um, the toe where you actually slip them in like a sock with the toes in them, you know. And they were very comfortable, and I wore them a lot till I wore them out. <laughs> so this is her look, and I think that it's pretty impressive. I really like it again. I like her with the hat, and I like her without the hat. I think she looks fabulous with it or without it. <laughs> so, you know, it's all in what each person's taste is. 
I plan to display these dolls the way that they came. Again, I'm hoping that the price goes down again and I'm able to pick up a couple of them and I'll probably, you know, get the opportunity to restyle them. But the articulation, you know, for those of you that don't know what a made to move body is, okay, her head tilts a lot and it turns from side to side. Her arms go out, they go forward. She has the bend at the elbow. She can touch her face. All kinds of things there. And then she has articulation at the wrists. She has articulation at the um, chest here. So you can turn her, flip her back and forward like that. She has articulation at the hip. She has it at the knee. Check out that knee, that double jointed knee. And she has articulation at the ankle. So these dolls have a lot of articulation with the made to move bodies. And I am very happy about that. It's like we have been talking about that as collectors. And to get something that we've all been talking about and wanting is absolutely awesome. So my co collection of the BMR 1959 doll collection is finally complete. And I'm very excited about that and very, very happy about that too as well. So here she is ready to join the gang and I am ready to find somewhere to display the gang and move on to something else to collect. I must say that this year has been a great year for us doll collectors with the Barbies. I think there have been some great things that have come out in the Mateo line. We got the Wow Hearts crew. We got the Creatable World. Then we got these awesome guys. And look, the fashionistas were awesome. Don't forget the BTS um, group. I mean, there has been a lot of amazing dolls that have come out in this year. And you know, I know I missed some, but those are just the ones that are right on the tip of my you know, my thought at this time. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this review. I hope I covered any and everything that you could possibly think of. Now, the other dolls had their nails painted, but she does not. So her nails are not painted. Again, this girl is just, you know, no makeup, no nail polish. You know, she's got that tomboyish look and style about her. So... No nail polish for her. Again, guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram on Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Like the video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you in my next review.